Hello and welcome to Pulse Model Train Stuff. Today I want to uh, talk less about uh, less about trains and more about electronics. This is a circuit I built for um, uh, to use for front and rear uh, signals on model trains. In the old trains, uh, just normal small light bulbs were used in, together with a diode. This diode makes the current flow only if the train moves forward to the front signal and if the train goes the other way, the current will only flow to the other light. Now, with LEDs, um, LEDs are, um, uh, I want to use LEDs for that. These are um, diodes by themselves and only allow the flow of uh, of the current through them in one direction but they can only work on one specific voltage or at best a range but not on let's say 12 or 18 volt sets on your track so now for if you using digital trains or digital setup you just have a current from your little uh, controller that's gonna feed it to the LEDs and you put a resistor in series and that's it but if you're driving analog like I'm still doing then you need to figure out something else so I built this this is my uh, old Trafo transformator from Fleismann right now there's a white LED here and a red LED next to it see this as if the LEDs were at two points of the model train if I would change the direction, these two would go out, and the other two, which is quite hard to see, but it's actually really two, go on. Oh, yep, this is an old one, so it sometimes just stops. So, in this case, two others will go on. Which means that I now have one light, uh, white and one red LED for each direction. So, how did I do that? I mean, I have a variable voltage source, and um, if I would put a LED straight on that, it would just burn, which I could do. But yeah, I don't want—I don't want to waste any more LEDs because this is, these these are not the first ones I've wasted. So, some basic, basically, what I did is I'm gonna doodle a bit. Here we have the track. And in the analog world, there's a minus and there's a plus, and the voltage difference between those two is, let's say, between 5 and 16 volts. It can be less, but then the train is not moving because the engine needs some power to actually start going. So, and 16, I don't know what the absolute max is. I've seen it go up higher, but for this setup, that's okay. Now, I've used an LM7805 voltage regulator. I got it's in here and I was hoping I would still have some laying around. Preparations, preparations, preparations. So there you have a very small voltage regulator. Now, these voltage regulators. They uh, have uh, three pins, they have an in voltage pin, they have an out voltage pin, and they have a ground pin. The ground pin is connected to the negative rail, the input is connected to the positive, and the output will give you 5 volts. Now, for these 5 volts, I just took two LEDs in series. Let's see, like that, and make them shine and connect them to the negative rail. The white LED, I happen to know, that has a, a voltage drop of about 3 volts, leaving about 2 volts for the red LED, which is all just in range. The actual values are more like 3.2 and 2.1. Ah, it will do like this. So, 
they will not burn because they are in series if you would not use the red LED you have to put a resistor in series now basically that's very nice but if I would now switch the voltage and this would not be plus or negative but that would be plus and this would be the negative side now that would mean in this setup the plus voltage would be connected to the ground the negative to the input pin and um, I can tell you from experience the magic smoke disappears they will not survive so this is nice it won't work for you in if you want to actually swap directions for that you need diodes so I'm gonna draw this a bit broader I have my two rails here and I use one simple diode I connect that to my LM7805 same again input output ground this one's connected to the negative rail and this one is using draw this a bit more compact the two LEDs now if this would be plus and that would be minus this one will work I have a second setup which is just reverse of this if the whole polarity would swap then there's an LED sorry a diode here that goes into the voltage regulator so that means this pin is the end in this will be the out and we have the ground here ground will go here and here we have again the two LEDs let's make it a bit proper like proper ish now if the voltage would flip either this circuit is active or the bottom circuit is active the disadvantage is you need two of these you need two diodes but I got this from eBay this is 50 ish for one whole dollar including shipping same goes for the diodes uh, I think I got a hundred of those for a dollar a hundred of these for a dollar and a hundred of, of these for a dollar so I can build well, if I would ha have another bag of these, I can build 200 of this for um, $7. And that includes shipping, so it is okay to waste a few components. Now, in the future, I am too gonna go all digital. But for now, I like this a lot. I like just playing around with this. And uh, I think it's cool to see this working. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually get this in in an old train uh, I got plenty of them laying around uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using only the whites or the white and red combination uh, but the basic circuit will remain the same I hope you enjoyed this small step outside of just the elect the, the model trains and to see some component stuff and some doodling feel free to uh, leave a comment and uh, if you like all this please subscribe and i'll see you next time